Hey guys, so for Anna's Kitchen, I'm going to show you how I make my acorn squash. And I actually have two little baby ones. Mom found real baby ones in the store. They're usually, I don't know, like one and a half times this big. But they're just such a sweet, wonderful squash. So I'm going to show you how I make them. Also, um, they're usually green in the store. Sometimes they have a little orange. The orange signifies ripeness, so if you're picking some, you're going to look for the ones that are more orange, they'll be sweeter. Okay, so I've got everything I need. I've got my cutting board, my wonder knife, which I brag about in all the videos. This thing is incredible. And I have a casserole dish here, a big one. You'll need that, and just um, plastic wrap. And you're going to need um, either a cookie sheet if you don't have a small oven, but if you have a toaster oven, just a small sheet with tin foil because I'm going to show you how to roast the seeds and they're so good. Um, some salt for the seeds and olive oil spray for the seeds also. And that's it. So I'm going to start by cutting my squash in half and then I'll show you how to do the seeds and then we'll cook the squash. So I cut this way. Some people cut along the depression here. You can do that, but I find it's easier to get the seeds out if you if you cut um, perpendicular to those marks on there. So I'm just gonna slice it in half. See this way. I'm going to do my other one. The same. These little ones are much easier to cut than the big ones, thank goodness. So, what you're going to do with the seeds is you're going to separate them from the gook in there so we can roast them. And so, they're all attached by strings, but you can reach under and loosen them a little bit while you're holding the squash upside down. So see, I'm loosening them. And see how they all hang down in a bunch like this? Rather than just scraping the insides out, it's much easier to break them apart when you've got gravity helping you and you just squeeze where they're attached and they'll pop right off in that gooky stuff. So you go to the end of the strings and then you can just pop them off of there. You want to go back to your sc house, Skylar? Skylar just had some food, so I don't know. She's telling me she's ready to go back to her cage, so I'll be right back to finish. Come here, baby. I'll take you. Sorry about that, yeah, so, as I was saying, they'll hang down real nice, and you can just, see if it's showing up, I don't know if that showed up before, but yeah, if you just grab, like, a group of them, and see right where that gook is, it's this little anchor for the seeds, you just push, push, pinch off, and they'll come right off nice and clean. It's much easier to do that than to try and squeeze them all out and then have to pick through all the gook. Trial and error taught me this technique, so it's just easier to get them out. And then, once you've freed all the seeds, you can scoop out these little strands with a spoon, which I didn't take out, but I will when I'm done. Here. Okay. So see, yeah, they're all 
if you loosen them, they all hang down from the center. And you can just... Some of them are empty, like they're immature seeds. There's nothing in there. So I don't take those off. I only take the ones that are full. So if you see me leaving some, it's because those are immature seeds that didn't develop. There's just nothing to them, really. So just taking out the fully hardened mature seeds. Remember, we're going to scrape the gook out so you can leave the immature ones attached. It's not a problem. So I think that's it. There's one more. Nope, that was a flat one too. Okay, so I'm going to do the same thing with my other pieces. And yeah, usually I just make one, but since these are so tiny. So see how it is? You can just reach a finger. Don't break the strings, but you can reach a finger in and just loosen them a little bit in each section going around and then when they're all loosened when you hold it up they'll all hang toward the middle see and then you can break them off isn't that cool nice and neat I guess, and then I just pinch. Get them off. Okay, what I'll probably do is stop this after I get this one done because I don't want to bore you guys to death. Oh, I'll just do it as fast as I can. Because now my hand's going to be all icky. I don't want to touch my computer with that okay on my hand. So we'll see if I can. Anyway, acorn squash is so versatile. You can do a lot of things with it. I just like mine with a little Brummel and Brown spread, which is like a low-calorie margarine made with yogurt. I love it. Sometimes nothing at all. You can just spoon it out and it's sweet goodness. You can put... Um, you can put some cinnamon sugar on it. Mom and Mr. Empath love that. You just sprinkle some cinnamon sugar in it and a little bit of that Brummel and Brown spread. If it's not as sweet as you like, and it's just, oh, they're so yummy. And again, I need to annotate with caloric info. I haven't been doing that on my videos, and I feel bad because I told you guys I would. Bad girl, right? But I will, I will. Harass me about it and remind me if I forget again. And I'll get those done. Okay, a couple more. Okay, yeah, so my, my left hand is clean enough. I'm just going to go ahead and shut this off now to do the other two. Because it really doesn't need to be... You don't need to see the six million more times. Okay, so come back once I'm done with that and show you guys what to do next. See you in a minute.